I really wanted to do a tutorial on how to create a list view with sub items because it seems like a super straightforward thing to do, but it's actually quite tricky in Android. Alright, to get things started I simply created a new project using the blank activity template. The first thing you want to do is open up your activity main XML file in your layout folder. In here, I'm just going to add a quick list view, give it an ID, and set its width and height. Next, we want to create a separate XML file for our individual list items. To do this, right click on your layout directory folder, hover over new, and select layout resource file. I'm going to name it list item and leave the rest of the defaults as they are. Once you're done with that, open up the file and then add a text view under the linear layout element. The first text view is going to be for our main item text. I'm going to add some properties like width, height, and a few other things to make it look nice. Next, I'm going to add another text view for our sub-item text. And once again, I'm going to add some quick properties to spice it up. Alright, now that we're done with the layout files, I'm going to head over to my main activity Java file. In the onCreate method, I'm going to initialize my list view and use the findViewById method to set it to my list view XML element. So at this point, all we really have is an empty list view. What we need is some data to work with. Chances are, if you're working with a list view that has both items and sub-items, you're going to want to clump them together into key value pairs. The most straightforward way to do this in Java is to use a hash map data structure. Our hash map is simply going to be a pair of two strings, a name and an associated address. I don't have to put anything in the brackets because Java will implicitly know my type based on the assignment. Now with my object initialized, I'm going to use a hashmaps.put method to add a bunch of different key value pairs to my collection. Once we are done adding pairs, we need to create an array list with a nested hash map that has a key value pair of two strings. We need this nested data structure because we are creating a list of items and each one of these items needs to contain two different key value pairs. One key value pair is going to have the string first line as a key and for the value it will have a name from the name address's hash map. The other key value pair is going to have the string second line as a key along with the address as a data from name addresses. Alright, next we're going to initialize a simple adapter. This is going to act as a bridge between our data and list view. Simple adapter takes in five arguments. The first argument is a context which is going to be the this keyword representing the current instance. Then we are going to pass in our list items. The third argument is going to be the layout resource of our list item. Our fourth argument is a string array with the values first line and second line that I mentioned earlier. These are the keys that the adapter is going to look for in our list items to populate the text views. And lastly, I'm going to pass in a new int array that is going to have the resource IDs for the two text views from our list item XML file. So basically this adapter needs all of this data to properly configure our list view later on. Now that all that initial setup is done, we are going to iterate through all of our key value pairs and then add each key value pair to the first and second line of our list items object. To iterate through a hash maps key and value pair at the same time, we need the iterator class. To start this process off, I'm going to assign the iterator of my name address's entry set to a new iterator object. Now this might sound a little confusing, but basically what you need to know is that this iterator object will contain all of our name and address data, but with additional features that allow us to iterate through the data. 
Next, we need to create a simple while loop that will go through all our iterations until no more exist. We can do this using the hasNext method. Inside our loop, I'm going to create another hash map and call it results map. Now this is where those first and second line string keys I mentioned earlier come into play. What we want to do is pair the first line string to our name value and the second line string to our address value. Alright, so we need the iterator to loop through all our key value pairs, but we don't really want all the extra data that comes with the iterator object when trying to get at the pairs. So what we want to do is initialize a map.entry object. Passing iterator.next as a map.entry object basically allows us to tell Java that we just want the key value pair of the current iteration. Next, we're going to add our first key value pair to results map. In this case, we want to set the key as the string first line and the value to pair.getKey.toString, which is going to be one of our names converted to a string. I'm going to do a very similar thing with the next line of code, but instead I'm going to put second line as my key and pair.getValue.toString as my value. Finally, we just want to add the current results map to our list items before moving on to the next iteration. And the last thing we need to do is to call setAdapter on our list view and pass in our adapter we created earlier so that it can set up our list view. Now when I run my program, I have a nice looking list with sub-items. I understand that this might sound a little bit complicated, but when you look back at the larger picture, now that all the code is there, it really does make sense. Alright, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys really found this useful.